Hey, welcome back everyone. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do a quick uh, content switch. So I had a few people ask me how to do this. I covered it partially in other videos, but most recently I got an email from Jackie and her issue was on how to make a simple drop down switch affect some sort of dynamic panel to show different content. If you have some sort of selection, so let's say this is your drop down, right? And you have some sort of values in a drop down. Maybe it's the actual seven, actual eight, or actual nine. You could also add something like select one so you don't default users into any of them, like so. And have some sort of block, let's say, which displays a totally different information per selection, right? And let's say, imagine that this is a fictitious scenario and that it's just gonna allow me to download a different uh, version from Axur. And I'm gonna style it really quick before going into the technicalities. And if I preview it, you're gonna see that I have a selector, right? And if I choose something, it doesn't do anything. But I, what I wanted to do is to basically, if I select eight, this block to show some sort of representation for that specific selection and have maybe a download button. And if I select, let's say nine, it's gonna show something else and a download button. And it's really easy to do so. Let me show you exactly how. So I have this block and if you do so, it's, it's just go ahead and create a, like a dynamic panel because that's gonna be our container where we're gonna contain all those bits. And I'm just gonna say uh, content container, right? And that's easy as that. Now, if I go into it, well, I can then simply add different states. So this is, let's say, our default state, and I'm gonna duplicate it, and this is gonna be actual seven, then eight, and then nine. And for each of them, I just need to replace the content. So let's say in seven, I'm gonna delete that, and maybe make a fill white, so it looks a bit more active. And then just maybe go and Google some images. Like so, so this is our, let's see, template, this is actual seven, and then I would go through every single one. So through eight, and then nine, and, and then that's it. Boom, now it's all good, but we need to make the last bit, which is just a switch. And that's where I think it's, it, it, it's you know, it's confusing for people how to do so. But basically, let's say I'm, I'm gonna give a drop down a name for the sake of it. So let's say drop list and the in, in interactions, we just need to set, let's say on selects and change, you see a very common interaction or in just select new interaction and then pick on selection change. Just say set panel state, container and let's say to seven. We can also animate in, so let's see, maybe fade in, fade out, like so. But you see, it's only, it doesn't matter what we change right now, it would change it to seven. So what we would need to do is just enable cases, because we need to set, say, hey, if the value of a dropdown is seven, then change it to seven, right? So we just need to add logic and so it's automatically pre-filled saying, if selection option of this equals option, let's say seven, then we're gonna show seven, simple as that. And all you have to do after defining this is just copy and paste and just toggle it to if, because all of them are equal at any given time, select the case two so it doesn't get confused and select eight in a value. And then in a panel state, we're gonna select eight as well. So it's all consistent. So if it's eight, we're gonna show eight, right? And then copy paste again and case three, let's say just for a good measure to rename it, action nine. And then we're gonna select to nine. So we replicate the same behavior from case to case in the drop down. Then we make a selection change. Now, as a good measure, we also need to have a fourth state, which is basically a default state. So let's say if a user selects back to our select a version one, we can then go on and select the default one. Uh, and that's just in case, you know, by any mistake, so it's not glitchy and it doesn't break down, let's say. Uh, select a version, boom. 
And now let's test it out. In theory, it should work fine. But you never know. So let's say by default, users are gonna go, let's say jump on this page and select, let's say seven, boom. And then we can download the seventh version. Boom, eighth, boom, ninth. And if we go back, back, well, nothing is selected. So it's simple as that. It's really quick to do so. And so, as per usual, give a like, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment down below, share it with your friends, and as usual, I'll see you next time.